I would say, um, you know, even if an artist is trying to sell themselves or mm -hmm. if you're working with a gallery, the, the things that I do do to contact my clientele, you know, I, I publish a blog. I try to do it monthly, but it's, I, I do a, a newsletter and I have a blog in my newsletter uh, and that I do it monthly. And then I have another more advanced blog that's just on my website. But, you know, I, I try to use that as a way to reach followers to sort of broadcast my, uh, you know, my work to the, to the masses. And, uh, you know, so Bold Brush is integral to that yeah. on, on my part, you know, Bazo, uh, helps helps me keep my nose to the grindstone in terms of staying in front of people and publishing work that gets seen and then collectors even if even collectors that are normally going to galleries um will see the work and then they'll kind of, <coughs> excuse me contact me and then i'll turn them on to the gallery uh but the work still gets sold you know i've had a couple pieces in the past three weeks where that's been the case where somebody contacted me because oh i saw this piece of work uh, you know in an instagram feed and is it still available yes it is where, how did you hear about me well i i bought several of your pieces at the renter keller oh great talk to jason you know the story that i told before that was a real story and the guy ended up buying that piece he hadn't even gone to the gallery it was still sitting in my studio and I shipped it straight to the client. And, uh, you know, the gallery ended up getting a commission on that because it was their clientele. Right. I, and I guess the, the advantage that I have that maybe a lot of artists don't have is I don't do this for the money. Like I said, I, you know, if I was doing it for the money, I would do something that made lots of money, not, yeah. not small amounts of money. And I, I do, by artist standards, I'm doing pretty well mm -hmm. by other standards. No, it's like, <laughs> you know, somebody said, Oh, you know, if I could be a millionaire, I'd be rich. No, you wouldn't. You'd be upper middle class. I'm sorry. Millionaires are not rich. You'll notice that the politicians have quit ranting about the millionaires. And they've, they've upscaled to the billionaires. Mm -hmm. Now they're targeting the billionaires as the evil 1% that don't pay their fair share. But, uh, it's because so many of the politicians have now become millionaires on their own by hook or by crook. Mm 